Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen video. Hopefully this will be a short one today. And you'll please forgive the sound of the fan in the background. It's fairly hot here. Probably not as hot as where you are, but this is hot. I've done reviews of these four Hongdian number six size nib fountain pens. Two model N6s, one N7, and this model 100. They all have the same size steel nib and the nib units are interchangeable. With the first N6, this one here, I tried to swap the nib with a bunch of other standard number six size steel nibs without success. That led me to the conclusion that these Hongdian number six size nibs are not really standard and either they're too wide, have too much of a curve to them or whatever to be replaced by a standard number six. However, after a number of questions from viewers, I decided to do some experimenting with all four of these pen nibs to see what's really going on. And I've discovered something inquiring minds need to know. The Hongdian number six size steel nib is standard and swappable. The problem I had with the N6 is the ebonite feed. And it isn't the feed itself actually, but the nib and feed collar that comes with the ebonite feed version. Let me explain by showing it to you. Let's pull this feed out of here. There's that ebonite feed that you get in the N6 model. And let's pull the nib and plastic feed on the N7 as well. There's the plastic feed and nib of the N7. Now let's look at the all plastic N7 feed. You can see that the feed is keyed with a flat spot right there that corresponds with a flat spot right there in the opening of that collar. You just line that flat spot up and the feed goes in. And then the nib goes in on top of that. And with the plastic feed on the N7, I've been able to swap Jinhao, Moonman, Fuluan, Bach, Yovo, and even Kaigalu Long Knife Calligraphy standard number six size steel nibs. Here's a Kaigalu Long Blade Long Knife Calligraphy nib. Let's put it on that N7. Just line it up and push it in. That's what she said. That's what she said. A little bit of rubber helps as well to push on those shoulders. Again, that's what she said. No, God, please, no! And make sure that the feed is lined up. And there we go. Piece of pie. Piece of pie. Cake. Piece of cake. Yes. And all of the nibs I mentioned all fit in that easily. But the issue I faced, however, with the Hongdian N7 is that the cap won't go on because the nib's too long. All of the nibs in that list are all roughly 35 millimeters in length. Problem is, the Hongdian is 33.4 millimeters in length. And the only nib that I could swap into the pen and be able to close the cap on the N7 is the Wingsung steel nib that came from the Wingsung 699 because that nib is 33.4 millimeters in length as well. So the key element here is that standard number six size nibs fit okay into the plastic feed of the Hongdian N7 but they have to be no longer than 33.4 millimeters in length or the cap won't go on. Fortunately, we don't have that issue with the N6 as the cap has plenty of space for those longer nibs to go on and close the pen. Now let's see what the issue is with the N6 ebonite feed that prevented me from swapping nibs in the first place. If we take a close look at the opening on the plastic collar, you have to look very, very carefully. I'm going to use this nib to point. See, there's a little nub right there. And that, if you get that aligned incorrectly, prevents the feed from going all the way in and prevents another nib from going in as well. You see there's another little nub down at the bottom of that collar. You see it at the bottom there? Again, that lines up with that channel right there. So if you put the feed in correctly, you'll feel it drop into that little spot right there. If you don't, you can turn it sideways and it sits a little bit proud of being fully seated. You can actually put 
the N6 nib on that and the pen works so that's what sort of screwed me up because when you get that nib incorrectly aligned you try to put any other number six nib like that Kaigaloo in there and it won't go down inside it won't even go past but it won't go past that little nub that's why so if you take the ebonite feed and you can rotate it around see it goes around like that in a circle but put it inside until it fits slightly in you see how far it is out there if I turn it keep turning it yeah there it dropped into that slot now I take my Kaigaloo nib easy as cake easy as cake huh? pie easy as pie and look at that there's a Kaigaloo long blade in my N6 now let's take a look at some of the nibs that I've been able to swap into my N6 and my 100 models of Hongdian from left to right this is a special nib that I bought from Bobby online I believe it was on his eBay store he runs the St. PPS uh, Chinese pen store on AliExpress and this was a Fullen sort of generic nib see it says Fullen there and look at the size of the tipping on that he sold a set of these sort of generic nibs with a lot huge amount of tipping so that you could grind yourself whatever you wanted I haven't gotten around to doing that but that nib fit next up the fully when medium steel nib that fits the Kaigaloo long blade this one has a couple of different finishes available this is like a snakeskin kind of a thing it also has flames this is a wingsung steel nib number six that comes off a wingsung 699 vacuum filler or piston filler the ubiquitous Jinhao 18 kgp which we all know should say 18 kbs for 18 karat gold bullshit this is some bullshit because that's not 18 karat gold but these are pretty stock uh, easily available number six size nibs and they're actually fairly good next is a moon man number six size nib this one is a fine and then the two biggest manufacturers of nibs in the world from germany this is a bach and here is a brand new 18 karat gold real gold leonardo dutch pen show 2021 uh, gold nib i had to have the nib on my leonardo momento zero grande jonathan brooks replaced um, this one's a broad this one's a medium and i'm going to do a video showing you how to take this pen apart and how to swap nibs on this ebonite feed leonardo shortly look forward to that video coming but before even swapping it into my leonardo i took it and swapped it into my hongdian n6 and look at that and now we have a hongdian n6 with an 18 karat gold leonardo yovo nib so it fits all of those nibs that i just named i haven't tried a schmidt i'll have to locate a schmidt but i expect the schmidt will fit as well if the schmidt fits wear it and there you have it if you like this video please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted and please look in the description for a link to goldspot pens as i'm now an affiliate of the online store and when you shop at goldspot using my link you'll be supporting my channel as well at no extra charge to you you can also join as a member of my channel too for only 99 cents a month and i guarantee i'll answer your comments in the comment section you'll get cool emojis badges and sneak peek unboxing videos as well and that just leaves it for me to say thank you for watching and that's all she wrote. I made this.